Okay, one of the things that I think is really fun to use is skewers uh, or um, chopsticks. Chopsticks are the most wonderful thing ever and whether or not you use them to eat with when you go to a restaurant that has chopsticks, you should always ask for them so that you can um, bring them home and use them for your art projects instead of eating with them. So on this project I made a plastic lady that I drew for my sketchbook and I made an additional head and then when I used the hole punch to make the hole in her mouth and his mouth so that I could make a face that turns and rotates for a girl or a boy. It's kind of like a, I'm stressed. I picture someone waving this at someone on the other side of a cubicle somewhere in an office. And what I did on the back to attach it was I just shrank another piece of plastic across the top of the uh, chopstick and then glued that to the other piece of the plastic. Okay, The mouth is using a brad. You could use a brad or a piece of wire to put through the two holes to make your chopstick puppet. Another real easy one to do is to make a mini picture. These are also good for sun catchers to hang in a window. Design your piece and then cut your frame out of a cereal box or a product box in your kitchen for your frame and then glue some thread for your hanger. Really easy. Okay, remember to look around your house for junk parts and pieces. These were earrings and an old key and then there was a thing that I didn't use for a necklace. So I put all those together with my shrunk plastic head. Here's another shrink plastic head uh, glued on top of a key. So now it looks like it's her shirt or her dress. And then here it's a domino with shrink um, reduced plastic arms and a head. And just look around for things that could be a body, like a bottle cap or a scrabble tile. You could even glue things on top of your scrabble tiles. Little tins work well for bodies. You can imagine putting a head on the top of the Eclipse tin. Okay, and here's one that I started that was using the typewriter that I took apart and took the keys off of. And he looked like a person running to me, so that's my next victim. <laughs> okay, this one is a triptych. A triptych is three pieces, and they're using a piece, um, you can either use wire or jump rings to attach your triptych together to make it open and close. And I'll put a PDF file of the triptych pattern in the class so that if you want to make this specific triptych you're welcome to it. Decorate it however you want. Shrink it and then put your pieces together. There's Mona Lisa with her kitty. Okay, Another really easy one to do is to make a frame for your ATCs or your artist trading cards. Um, you just have to remember to double the size of what you want it to be. So it's a three and a half inch card by two and a half inch card. So you just double that for the size of your plastic, and cut it out, and then decorate it, shrink it, and smash it so that you have a nice little frame for your artist trading card. Here's another one that's super easy. Um, take any of your stamps that you have and stamp the words or the sayings on them. Then put them in the oven and reduce their size. Then connect them with a jump ring, just a round ring or a piece of wire or string. And then put a hook or some kind of a latch at top. It could be even just a loop of thread 
or colored embroidery thread at the top to make a hanger. Okay. okay, this is a really fun way to use all your little scraps that you have left over. Any little pieces any little pieces that you have left over from any of your other projects, save all of those little tiny pieces in a box somewhere. When you're not doing anything else, when you're watching TV, you could be decorating your little pieces of plastic with your pens or your color pencils, making random designs on them. And then when you go to bake another project, you can throw in some of these little pieces that you've decorated and then use them like mosaic tiles and glue them with either some modeling paste or some Mod Podge or whatever you want on the top of a little box or any kind of a container and then when you're all done then just spray it with acrylic or you could fill the cracks all the way up with glue like a, like a mastic or tile grout to fill it all the way up but it looks really cool, kind of reminds me of an old trunk with lots of stickers on it from traveling. Okay. Use all your scraps. Here's a super long hanging um, message tree using all shrink plastic with a little shrunk plastic heart at the end and a earring hook at the top to hang it so it's a really tall little message tree with all kinds of neat sayings like art is the life energy of the soul